are joined here by head coach of uh, Angela State, Chuck Waters, <coughs> along with student athletes, Shelby Witt and Maddie Huth. Coach, would you like to open up your remarks about the match tonight? Yeah, that was uh, probably one of the most amazing matches I've ever been a part of as a head or assistant coach at any level. Um, you know, to come back in the fourth set was was awesome. You know, and, and I've been on teams that have done that in one set, but to be able to do it again in the fifth set down late, 11-6, uh, it's just, all I talked about in the huddle was about do or die and having guts and making plays and being one point at a time. Um, <laughs> these two and everybody else bought in and refused to lose. That's all I can say. They refused to lose that match. Open up for questions. Uh, Shelby, just seemed like, I mean, how do you explain the way, I mean, I'm not even on the team or a coach, but I mean, my blood pressure is just, I think anybody watching that match is just building up. Uh, it's as exciting an event as I've seen in 24 years of covering sports. And how do you explain how y'all just dealt with the pressure, you know, every time? Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of what you expect in matches like these in the regional tournament, um, NCAA tournament. They're going to be hard fought out matches. I mean, no one wants to end their season. So matches like these are what we live for as players are so much fun to play in and they're stressful, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome to be a part of. You guys were in the same situation two weeks ago in the, in the final. This time, how did you, did you, you guys use that experience? Was that kind of a, in your mind maybe a little bit? So? I mean, experience in any matches like that helped us. They grow, uh, they, as a team, we just grow together. and. Uh, I don't know, just the motto, refuse to lose, we've been saying that all weekend, and you can tell out there, you can, I mean, we make plays because we don't want to lose, we're not done, so. Um, Ari had a huge game tonight, 20 kills, Maddie, you also had 20 kills, what, what was working well with the attack tonight? Well, it was, uh, honestly, it was ball control, you know, when we handled the ball, we scored, when they handled the ball, they scored. You know, and it was it was just a, a battle of attrition. Who was going to make the, the mistake first? You know, and uh, when it mattered most, we we just made plays. You know, I, I don't have words to explain it really. Honestly, I just still don't really know how we won because uh, it was crazy. It was just an unbelievable environment, and um, these girls decided that they were they were just not going to settle for walking out of here and getting on a bus and going home. And uh, they made play after play. Players that may, don't make plays like that, you know, came up with plays that just made the difference for us at the end. And I've been preaching it all year long, you know, that we're, we're one of the best teams out there, you know, when we do it the way we want to do it. And tonight, man, we did it right. And I'm so proud of these kids for that. Maddie, you're the captain. What are you going to emotional win tonight? Just, mm -hmm. I mean, but tomorrow's even bigger. I mean, mm -hmm. with the stage, is going to be huge. So what do, you, what do you tell your team, I guess, tonight and tomorrow throughout the day? Yeah, well, I mean, we have a long recovery time, so that's good. But uh, as far as intensity goes, we know it's going to be an intense match tomorrow, just like tonight. And um, But those are what makes you dry. That's what makes like pushes you in games. So uh, as far as pushing my team, I, I know I push them. I, we know that they push each other. So um, we just need to take it to them. And Maddie, what can you say about Leah McWilliams? Hadn't played since October 15th. I mean, she mm -hmm. made some huge contributions out there, and you can just tell she wasn't gonna, she wasn't gonna let it be her her last match. Oh yeah, I mean, she stepped in like crazy for us, and it, I'm so proud of her for doing that. I mean, she's a senior also, so you can tell in her play that she's not gonna end this way, and uh, it was really great. I'm really proud of her. And coach, you know that uh, Wanamaker, I believe she's the Dactronics Player of the Year. You know, they've got some very athletic, tall girls. Uh, they looked really scary early on. Um, you know, uh, what can you say about, you know, the way you were able to neutralize as best you could their, their power? Well, that really was one of the best offensive teams we played all year. Um, and we held them to, one, they hit 142. You know, Wanamaker is unbelievable. She can score from anywhere on the court. You know, the freshman they have on the right side, she's devastating attacker, really high, makes real high contact. but. We just kind of put our helmets on and said, let's dig some balls, you know. Uh, we dug 115 balls. That's awesome, you know. And that, I, I really think that's a mindset, you know. That's a, an intensity, a defensive mindset that makes difference. You know, we talked about him. Sean said right to me right after the match, defense wins championships. And I said, heck yeah. Um, and I think this is the team that can do that. So we're just going to gut it out. 
You know, we're not, it's not pretty out there for us sometimes. It really isn't. You know, we're just going to scramble and be gritty and make plays and frustrate teams and, and not care what it looks like. We're just worried about the result. And Shelby there in the fifth one, it's not very forgiving, you know, short set. Um, coach was saying, you know, no job, no job. So he wasn't, want, wasn't wanting y'all to allow any cheat points by them. And, um, because it seemed like they were getting some little, you know, dinks and stuff here and there that, um, you know, you just couldn't afford to, to let that happen and you took care of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, especially in the fifth set, I mean, your adrenaline's really going, so you're on your toes a lot. And um, that's what teams try and do. Once they get nervous, they kind of lay back and they try and do a lot of shots. So you just have to be ready and anticipate anything. So that's just what we did. And I feel like we handled it pretty well with the chunk stuff. The chunk stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, we're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> How's that ice cream going to taste tonight? It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold and That's good. That's really the only reason why. That's I'm right. Here. <laughs> yes. I, it took me all season long to find that motivation. <laughs>